Can you save a dying relationship? Can you go back to the good times? Can you be happy again? I got you. In this video, I will share if your relationship can be saved and how to do it. Hi, my love. Welcome to my channel. My name is Magda K, and this is the place for you to get all the tips, inspiration and techniques to enjoy the most fulfilling intimate life. I get it, I've been there. Things start so good, but then on the way you lose all the passion, you lose affection. It seems like you moved so far away from how it used to be at the beginning. And then you have less and less sex, and instead of having these little cute moments together, it feels like all you ever do is argue. Is this how the rest of your life will look like? Do you have to settle for little sex and little love? Can you go back to how the things used to be? Can you fall back in love with each other? Okay, listen carefully because first I have to tell you something really important. So before I can tell you how you can revive a dying relationship, this is the foundation. When things start not going as well, we pull away. We think, well, my needs are not being taken care of. My partner doesn't do so much for me, so why would I reciprocate? And we start being bad partners. We don't show up at our best. We don't give 100% anymore. And I'm gonna be super honest with you. Unless you're willing to give it your 100%, your relationship is not going to improve. There's no pill, no secret recipe that can fix your relationship for you. But I understand it. If you feel unhappy, the last thing you want to do is now go out of your way and make an effort for your partner. So I'm gonna give you the same advice I give to the couples that I work with. Give it your all for one month. Be the best partner, give your 100% for one month and then decide. Look, you can't actually say if your relationship is good or not or whether it can be saved or not if you're doing the bare minimum. So actually give your relationship a chance. One month is long enough to revive the relationship, to bring back love and passion and be able to decide if you can be happy again or if you maybe should go separate ways. But at the same time, one month is not that long, so you're not gonna feel drained after giving it a try. So, if you're willing to invest one month into your relationship, stay on because I'm going to tell you exactly what to do in this one month. So there are five things that I share with my clients and love it's done some true miracles in the past. I've worked with couples that were already talking to the lawyers about getting a divorce and we managed to get them back together feeling happy and full of desire. So here are the five things to do during this month. Number one, refrain from complaining, nagging, attacking or blaming. Now look, I understand that you probably have a reason for doing this. It's impossible to be in a relationship for a longer time and not get upset about things. And yes, we do need to bring this up. And if you already asked for this multiple times and there's no change of behavior, of course we get angry and we start complaining. But the moment you complain or nag or attack, you're automatically putting yourself and your partner in the position of enemies. Now that doesn't feel good. Look, what happens after being together for a while is that we don't do these little nice things for each other as often as we used to, but now we argue all the time. So it feels like the only thing you do with your partner is complaining and arguing. So for one month, just don't. Now that takes me to point number two. So those little nice things that we don't do for each other anymore, Okay, I want you to think of what are the things that you used to do for your partner and you know they really enjoyed it, but you just stop because. For that one month, I want you to pick three such things and do that. 
So maybe you used to bring coffee to bed every morning for your partner or run them a bath. So think of those little things and pick three, do them this month. Number three, once a week, you want to go out on a date. And this is the time for you and your partner to be lovers. That means you're not discussing kids, work, or anything related to the house. You only get to discuss and do the things that lovers would do. So you can go for a romantic dinner or a walk in some beautiful place, maybe a massage. Now, if this leads to sex, great but do not force it. And that takes me to point number four. Do not push for sex. So look, here is what I've seen in about 90% of the couples that I've worked with. A woman doesn't really wanna have sex and she feels that the guy is pressuring her. Now the guy feels like his sexual needs are not being met and he gets frustrated. Here's something you have to understand. For a woman, to feel her sexual desire, to actually want to have sex, she needs to feel seen, admired, and cherished. So if you guys are having issues in the relationship, she doesn't feel that. So focus on making her feel beautiful, admired, appreciated, and you'll see that her libido will naturally come back. But if you pressure her to have sex, here is what happens. So the reason why she's so upset is because she feels that she's been giving so much and she hasn't received enough thank you from you that it just goes unseen. So most women feel like they give, 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 but they don't receive back enough. So now if you approach her and you start pressuring her to have sex, that's exactly what she's gonna think. Oh yeah, yet another thing that is all about you. So this really can make things worse. Now, look, I get it that if you're not getting your sexual needs met, it's really difficult and frustrating, but you haven't been getting those needs met. So have some patience for this one month. Don't push for sex. Do everything else I'm telling you to do in this video, and you'll see that her libido will come back on its own. And the last point, number five, is to touch each other more. And I want to share with you a practice that I give to my couples that is so beautiful and really makes a difference. So what you're doing is that you want to lie down together and embrace each other in such a way that your chests are connected. So here you have your heart chakra. This is the source of unconditional love and intimacy. So I want you to lie down in such a way that your chests are touching each other. And I also want your genitals to be connected. So through this, you're activating the flow of love and sexuality, which is two most important energy centers when it comes to intimate relationships. And all you're doing is lying there still. You don't even talk. Do this for minimum 15 minutes if you can do it naked, great, but if not, you can be in your clothes. Lie down like this for as often as you can and you'll see that your bodies will naturally come into harmony and you will feel more relaxed with your partner. Do these five things for one month and you'll see an incredible difference in your relationship. Like I said, I've guided so many couples through the same steps and I've seen the difference. So give your relationship one month and see how amazing it can be again. My love, I hope that you got value from this video and if you did, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel if you would like more videos like this and help me hit 100K, which is my big goal for this year. So if you like this channel, you wanna join the family, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe and maybe even share it with some of your friends. Now, darling, thank you so much for being here. Like I said, I really hope that you get value from this video and I hope to see you next week. Bye. Hey love, don't forget to check out the School of Intimacy. Get access to all the insights, skills and techniques to enjoy the best intimate life. You'll find over 50 hours of content and courses on topics such as tantric sexuality for women and men, non-ejaculation, full body orgasm, 
communication and conflict resolution. Spicing up your sex life, sexuality types, and so much more. We have courses for men and women, singles and couples. Plus, live Q&As with me and monthly quests. Enjoy healthy, long-lasting relationships. Get your needs and deepest desires met. Feel sexually fulfilled. Experience deeper intimacy, deeper pleasure, and more love. The School of Intimacy is the only school that teaches you what actually matters in life. Relationships, love, and sex. And now you can try it risk-free for seven days free of charge. Join now.